This is a card that I created with a Sweet Pea stamp. It's from a set called Christmas Bird by Elaine Cox. And it comes with a big stamp and a little one that matches. Super cute. So I'm going to show you how I created the lace wings and the dress on her. I started out with a stamped image, which you can see here. And then I got some lace and I cut out the wings. And then I took some stickles. And I just put a little bit of stickles underneath to make it stick. Put the wings on top. And then I just filled it in solid with the stickles. And it looks really ugly right now. It's not going to look cute until it dries. When it dries, it goes kind of sheer so you can see the lace underneath. And you could just kind of spread it out in varying amounts. So if you wanted to put a lot on, then it's obviously going to be thicker glitter than if you put just a little bit. And you probably want to be sure not to put loads on because you still want to be able to see it when it dries. So that's how it looks when it's wet before it processes. And then we would do the same thing with the other one. I was careful when I did my original to make sure that I didn't put a ton right here. Just because, see that little bird right there? I wanted to be able to see the little bird. And so I actually cut just a teeny bit more lace because I found that the stickles made it expand a little bit. And so on my original card, I cut off a little bit more of the lace just to make sure that you could still see the bird's wing. Or maybe if you're really careful with the stickles, you could make it so that you can still see the bird. But might look a little odd if it's covered up. So that's how I did the wings. And then I got a piece of vintage lace and a needle and a thread. And what I did is I just kind of did a running stitch where you just kind of go up and down, up and down and just gather up the lace. It doesn't matter a lot what color thread you use as long as it's not glaring because it doesn't really show. But I just gathered it up like this because in the stamped image it kind of looks like her dress is made of kind of an eyelet looking lace. So I thought it would be kind of fun to make the dress. So I just did it like this and then just pulled it through and just however much you want to do would be cute. I, I wanted mine kind of gathered up so you could just gather it up till it looks good to you. See how it just makes kind of a whoops, makes kind of a little gathered look that would make her dress. And then I took a pair of scissors and I just actually cut her hand a little bit right there. Not all the way completely off but just most of the way. And that made it so that I could put the dress underneath. As you can see in the original card, her hands are on top of the dress. So I actually just, so you can see where it's a little bit cut right there. So I just went and put the lace underneath and then put her hands back on top of it so that it looked normal. So that's what I did. And then I just added this cute little Spirit of the Past tag and some flowers and then of course on the background I embossed this and used some sparkle. Um, this is actually a Lindy's um, spray and then I 
went and I just um, filed off the top and inked it back up again. So that's what gave it that kind of dimensional effect that you can see on the background. I don't know if you can see it very well, but that's what I did. And then this right here is just some stickles that I put on top of the snowflakes to make them a little bit more dimensional and glittery and stuff. So thanks for watching.